Hello and welcome to another video review, this time about new thermal binoculars from Pulsar, the Merger LRF XP35. Pulsar, as we already know, is based in the European Union, in Lithuania, and it is still the market leader in thermal imaging for the civilian use. This year on SHOT Show 2024, Pulsar introduced these new uh, thermal binoculars with an integrated laser rangefinder in the right barrel uh, in the merger series. In early 2022, uh, Pulsar introduced the merger series which replaced the Accolade series and Pulsar gradually introduced the devices with different sensors and lens diameters but up till now, the XQ35 was the only light and compact thermal binoculars uh, in the merger series. With this new merger uh, 35 or XP35, uh, Pulsar introduced a new device which is still lightweight and compact like the XQ35, but it features a better resolution sensor with 640 by 480 pixels and uh, NETD with less than 25 millikelvins. Uh, and the most important uh, of this device, it, has, it features the biggest filter view of all thermal binoculars on the market with similar, similar spe specifications. Uh, like this, the Merger XP35 is the perfect device for close to medium range uh, observations. Uh, as we already know, the merger devices feature great ergonomics, uh, like normal uh, binoculars, uh, and the button position is great. It is very easy to operate. Entire housing is made from durable magnesium alloy housing, with rubberized parts for better grip and ergonomics here uh, and here on the sides. It features a IPX7 protection rating which means it is completely dustproof and also waterproof for at least one meter of depth for 30 minutes. Now the oculars are made out of rubber uh, with this additional uh, rubber piece for protection against external light during the daytime uh, observations and in the night that no light from the device escapes so you stay invisible for your environment. Eyepieces itself, as you can see here, are made out of the rubber, very soft rubber and because of that it is very comfortable to use uh, these binoculars. Then the diopter uh, setting is on both uh, barrels separately, uh, so you can perfectly adjust your the diopter for best possible image. Rings for adjusting the diopter can be rotated very easily, but still they are stiff enough so when you make your adjustment that they not uh, um, rotate unintentionally. Next we have here the interpupillary distance which can be adjusted like this. Uh, so you can easily adjust uh, the interpupillary distance to your eyes and it is uh, adjustable from 63 millimeters all the way to 74 millimeters. Here, right next to the battery, uh, we have the proximity sensor, which detects if you are using the binoculars or not, uh, because if not, it turns uh, off the display to save the battery life. Here we have the battery and the battery compartment, and to take out the battery, we just have to push the button in the front, like this, and the battery pops out. So here we have the battery compartment and one APS-3 battery. Uh, the merger has one 
external battery or replaceable battery and one integrated battery for more uh, battery life. On top we have the six batteries for operating the device and on the bottom we have a thread where we can mount the tripod adapter which is this one here and also a USB-C port if you want to connect the device to your PC or you can also charge the batteries with this port directly. Now from the front we have the two objectives on the in the right barrel or in this case in the right barrel we have the laser range finder and in the left one we have the objective lens of the thermal uh, sensor uh, which is 35 millimeters uh, and again here is the button the objective covers are made from rubber and hard plastic which uh, lock firmly in place so the lenses are very very well protected and they are uh, adjustable uh, if you want to uh, put it in on other direction. Uh, the objective covers can be also taken down. If they are damaged, you can very easily replace them. Lastly, here on the left barrel, we also have the adjustment ring for focusing of the image uh, to different distances, uh, which is also rubberized and also a bit stiff. Uh, to uh, rotate which I also prefer uh, because then you have a better feeling uh, when you're adjusting uh, the focus uh, to your to the distance you are looking at now the entire uh, device can operate uh, between minus 25 to plus 50 degrees Celsius uh, the size compared to other merger devices is very compact and small it has a length of 165 millimeters it is 131 millimeters wide and 68 millimeters high the weight of it is 830 grams with the battery included uh, and it comes for a price of approximately 3,600 euros. The startup time is very fast. It is just under six seconds. Uh, and the device uh, has also different uh, connecting capabilities uh, like uh, Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So 2.4 gigahertz for uh, if you have an older device and 5 gigahertz for an even uh, faster connection uh, to all of the newer devices uh, If you want to connect to the PC, of course, you can connect it with the USB-C port on the bottom The device is completely made uh, in Europe uh, so the sensor included and most parts are, are made directly in Lithuania by Pulsar themselves. Uh, because of that, uh, the quality control is also, uh, or the quality control is also on the highest standard. Now for the battery, uh, included is one APS-3 uh, battery uh, with a capacity of 3,200 milliamp hours. Uh, and inside of the device is uh, another battery pack with 4000 milliamp hours. So all in all 7200 7, milliamps, uh, which is quite a lot. And with this, the device can operate up to 9 hours in uh, optimal conditions at 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, 9 hours is quite a lot and for normal hunting purposes, uh, more than enough. If you need more, the batteries can be uh, purchased separately also, which are not expensive. One battery is approximately 45 euros. Included with the device is also a battery charger, 
uh, for two batteries uh, at once. Um, but because the device features a uh, integrated battery, uh, you also have to charge it, charge it uh, sometimes uh, directly in this port on the bottom. Now the sensor, inside we have an uncooled microbolometer with 640 by 480 pixels at 17, uh, 17 microns pixel pitch. The refresh rate is 50 Hz, so you have a smooth uh, picture even on moving uh, uh, objects. And the NETD is less than 25 millikelvins. Uh, this means sensitivity is quite high and you will see uh, very uh, or much uh, many temperature differences. The calibration modes are three. Uh, which are completely automatic, manual or semi-automatic. The display inside of the device is a AMOLED HD type with a resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels. And of course you can make also videos and photos uh, with the same resolution. It has an internal storage of 16 gigabytes, uh, which is for a lot of uh, photos and videos. But if you want to uh, put more videos or uh, photos on the device, it in the settings you can also turn on the compression mode, which increases uh, the uh, number of videos and photos for a lot, which you can store on the device. The display itself is really big and very comfortable to use and as we know it from Pulsar the image is very clear with great detail resolution. Now for the optical specifications we have a 35 millimeters focal length with an aperture of 1.0 and the field of view which is the most special thing about this device is 31.3 meters at 100 meters, which is really a lot uh, for a 35 millimeters focal length uh, device. The range of detection is up to 1350 meters and it features eight color modes. Uh, they can all be adjusted in the settings directly. The focusing can be adjusted with this ring here and in the manual stays it's up uh, it works uh, from five meters uh, to infinity but from my tests it's even less uh, i could focus perfectly on the uh, object at two meters which is really good of course you can use the device also with uh, glasses and the magnification is from two times, so the analog magnification is two times, and it features an eight times digital zoom, which means the magnification you can use the device is from two to 16 times. The device features also a laser range finder, which is under this cover here, and it can measure up to 1000 meters with an accuracy of plus or minus one meter. The minimal um, range is 5 meters and the wavelength this device operates is at 905 nanometers. Uh, to start the laser range find you just have to push this button and with the next push you already get a reading. When you're in uh, the measuring mode with uh, holding this button the device goes into a scan mode so you get constant readings every two uh, seconds approximately. Uh, the device features also uh, equivalent horizontal range uh, calculation, so you get uh, different readings, which is uh, especially needed for hunters. Uh, and this can be also turned on or off in the settings directly. Uh, the laser range finder as we know it from Pulsar is really, really good. Uh, from my tests, 
one of the best on the market uh, in uh, between these uh, devices and it works also great in uh, bad weather in rainy weather uh, you get really uh, readings to a bigger distances uh, button position uh, as I talked before is great it can be very easily operated all of the six uh, buttons and it is also very comfortable to use uh, device has a lot of functions uh, many of them can be uh, adjusted directly in the settings but the most uh, important one can be adjusted uh, when viewing directly with these six buttons so with the plus button we, with the short press we change the magnification and with the long press we enter the picture in picture mode uh, so you have a small image, uh, magnified image inside of your big image. Then the minus button. With a short press we change the amplification level. And with a long press we change the, uh, the white hot and black hot image. Then we have the menu button. With a quick press you enter the quick menu and with a long press the main menu. Then the blue button here is to turn on or off the device with a long press and with the short press we uh, calibrate the sensor and with a long press but less than three seconds we enter the sleep mode to save the battery life. Uh, again this uh, can be adjusted in the settings if you don't like the proximity sensor you can do it with this button here. Uh, then. Uh, the button here we have the uh, in, uh, photo and video button with a short press we start uh, making the video or we take the photo and with the long press we switch between making photos or videos and lastly uh, the laser rangefinder uh, button now for the uh, menu we can uh, connect the device with the Stream Vision 2 app with any smartphone. If you want to see a very detailed uh, video about the menu or of the Stream Vision 2 app, please uh, check uh, this link uh, here or in the description uh, below. Okay, now what do we get in the box with the XP35? Uh, first of all, we get a uh, really nice uh, carrying uh, bag with a lot of room also for uh, other things uh, not only the device itself then we have a charging cable a carrying strap for the device itself which is also quick detachable if you want uh, to put it away sometimes then we get the APS-3 uh, battery, the APS-3 charger for two batteries at once, a tripod adapter, a charging uh, adapter, now in this case for the European Union, then we have the battery uh, cover uh, which is for transportation purposes, then we have a cleaning cloth and lastly we have the quick start guide in different languages and also the uh, warranty certificate. Okay, now for a short summary. What are the positives or what do I like about this device? Uh, first of all, of course, the image quality. It, is, it has a great image quality and especially the field of view is really really big and because of that it is perfectly suitable for short and medium uh, range observations. The next thing is the compact and ergonomic design. Uh, if we compare it to the XP50 uh, devices or the Duo it is quite a lot smaller and because of that much easier to carry around uh, so it is not anywhere in the way. Then the 
Laser rangefinder, as I previously said, it is really good and works also in bad weather conditions. And lastly, the batteries or the integrated battery with these APS-3 batteries additionally, uh, the battery life of 9 hours is really a lot and should be enough for any hunting uh, purpose. Uh, what do I... Well, what I don't like about this device or what, uh, where I see some room for improvements, uh, even though it is a small and compact device, it still weighs 830 grams, which is still a bit heavy in my opinion. Uh, but uh, again, if we compare it to a 50 millimeters lens, there is quite a lot of a difference. Uh, so. Uh, pulls are uh, really uh, reduced the weight uh, quite a lot. Okay, I hope I covered everything about the new Pulsar Merger XP35 and that you found this video review useful. If you have any additional questions, please click the link below and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.